coolest nigga, what? Damn. F and F up, damn. 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 I'm fearless, now hear this, Ooh. I'm fearless Clothing and, fearless. and hip hop What up world? This is Soul Messiah with SoulMessiah.com And today the issue I'm dealing with is the state of music, in particular hip hop The state of music today And the effects that it has on the people you have to ask yourself, what happened? What happened to music? If you remember in the 70s and even the 80s and into the 90s, music was socially conscious. It was politically correct. Everything that was going on in the world was mirrored in the music and vice versa. But today, things have changed. And the question you got to ask is what happened? Because we came up, we had Earth, Wind & Fire. We had Parliament and Funkadelic. Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? We had real issues, real music. Curtis Mayfield. You know what I mean? And now, we don't have any of that. I'm sure all would agree that his misery was his woman and things. Now, Fred If we look at it, we gotta understand that the type of music that we get is either overly sexual music, uh, this new swag rap, um, gangster rap, we got dancing music, which is cool, the kids like. Um, whether it's north, south, east, or west, it's all, the one thing that you see is it's not uplifting anymore. It's not socially conscious anymore. You know, we do have what we call backpack rap or underground hip hop, but as you know, that doesn't get any play on radio or TV at all. You'd be lucky if you get it. So, what happened? What happened to the music? First thing you gotta understand is the people that actually get record deals that are actually popular they are the swag rappers, which are kid rappers, which is cool. We like young hip hop, it's very important. The gangster rappers, the drug dealing rappers, right? Now that's not by mistake that they are the ones that are being pushed, it's by design. What you have to understand is corporations, major corporations and the government or whoever's in control, they don't need money. Most people say, well, they're doing that because they want to make a lot of money. They make money. They literally print money. So what is it that the major labels and corporations want? They want to control the music. Because if you control the music, and the soul, which is essentially the soul, which is the people, you control the people. A man once told me that the man who owns and controls the music controls the people. So our intellectual property, the things that we write, the music that we play, we have to learn to hold on to it and control it for us, because if someone else controls it, they control the people. That's why you hear stuff on the radio uh, that children repeat it and you're like, I can't believe they're saying the words that they say. Well, that's by design. We have to take that back. So what we're going to do, basically, is put socially conscious music back into the world. We actually control the music, we control the soul, and the soul is the people. Dealing with b-boying, MCing, DJing, and graffiti is the only way that I think that we'll be able to control our music, our culture as a whole, and planet-wide be able to have a movement that will take our people where we need to go. Food, clothing, and hip-hop. 